So I've been looking for an excuse to use these power couplings for a while now and I really haven't had any ideas other than more pod racers and stuff I guess. I did use it for a trebuchet but today I want to experiment if I can make some kind of net because essentially this is like rope right? And I could have a grid of them just like this, connected with some pipe pieces maybe, and possibly have a system to launch it into the air and catch flying vehicles maybe. That's the plan today. All right, so as far as building the net, it's pretty simple actually. So here's my idea. I just need to have these tube pieces and duplicate them like this. And that is one section of our grid pattern for our net here. So if I do this again, and again, just copy it across. This is actually really simple to build. I have a uh, 3 by 3 net grid now. But I don't know if that's going to be big enough. One thing I do appreciate is how light the couplers are. They're 0.6 kg. So let's actually make the net a little bigger. Here, if I spawn in like the average size of a helicopter. Okay, so I definitely need to make the net bigger if I'm wanting to catch a helicopter. So I think this here is the perfect size a five by five grid of power couplers now the question is how am i gonna launch this well my first thought actually was magnets magnets not only have a attracting option they also have a repelling option by using a negative output and if i just like have a bunch of magnets i guess okay yeah so this is what i'm thinking the magnets are on the uh outside of the net so it will just push the outside very very fast hopefully and then the inside of the net will kind of droop and hopefully catch around something i don't know I'm gonna have to put something in the air as a practice target, but the thing is this isn't connected right now So I'm gonna need a detachable block and just to be safe I'm gonna have a detachable block on each corner So when I go to aim this it doesn't you know flop around when I don't want it to flop around and to connect it I'm just gonna use these two pieces here and a, uh, a shield piece last thing I need to do is make the output for my magnets on negative if i want it on a toggle i actually don't want it on a toggle right now and then all of these detachable blocks i want on my left click too and we're gonna delay this for about 0.15 so it allows the magnets to get up into gear and activate before releasing the net so in theory this should work all we need now is a seat um we're just gonna go for the go-kart seat for now doesn't really matter what seat smack it on like there and let's give this a quick save might get a little messy but here we go three two one what the oh my god did you see how fast that went and there's the net the net's intact but it just went up so quick like so ridiculously quick can i like get a better view of that boom i actually think that has enough velocity to catch something. Now, the thing is, I do notice that the net is a little rigid. And that's because in the settings here, the stiffness is all the way up. So what I can do is lower it a bit. Let's pull, let's try 0.10. This is all trial and error. So yeah, there we go. We got the droopiness of the net there. And now let's just launch it. Okay. Very fast launch. It has that droopiness, but the problem I'm seeing is that the net is flipping. So what if I added some kind of stabilization system? I'm not sure if a tail fin will do the job, but we're going to try it. Oh, okay. It still did the flip. I think it might be a little too strong. You know what? Let's experiment with the quantum rudder. So what the quantum rudder will do is provide inertia and drag and hopefully keep this stable. All right, here we go. Oh, did you see that, guys? That was way better. Now, the thing is, I lost so much speed because the inertia of the quantum rudders is too much. It slows you down really fast. But it kept the net flat, so I'm definitely seeing progress here. Let's turn down the strength all the way to, to the lowest. So hopefully it doesn't slow me down too much. Oh, I have no idea why the net is deciding to bulge like that. That's so weird. 
Anyway, let's shoot this. That is way better now. Wow. I'm actually pretty satisfied with this so far. But the thing is, I'm shooting it straight vertically upwards. So there's no possible way to aim this just yet unless I make one. So let's make sure we can aim it. I think this is looking good so far with what I've done here. Just using some servos and these giant struts here. So this will allow for the whole base of this to aim in this direction. Up and down, if you will. And to rotate, I need to add a base and then put it on another base with a servo in the middle. But you can see how complex this is already. It doesn't look that big. I've definitely seen bigger builds. But the fact that it's this complex is pretty crazy. How much complexity are the power coupling? Wow, they're 10 complexity each. No wonder. All right, let's hook up these servos. We want them in hold position, obviously. And W and S to aim. Also for this bottom servo, same again. We're going to put the speed to 0.2. And have this on an infinity angle. And that should be all hooked up nicely. All right. Okay. We can do a full 360 now, but the problem I'm seeing is it's drooping. Like, it's drooping way too much, and it's actually drooping through the magnets there. So if I shoot this, I'm actually quite worried that this won't work now. But let's just give it a test anyway. Yeah, that, hmm, it lost a lot of velocity when it glitched through the magnet. Oh, wait, there we go. I guess it's, like, situational. Because that is a perfect launch right there. Wow. Okay, we might lose some magnets on the way. But honestly, it might be worth it. Well, I've spaced out those uh, rotating connectors there. So hopefully there's less of a, a chance for this to get stuck. But let's try again. That was a good attempt. That was a good shot. Okay, we're going to up the stiffness back up to 0.5. I think it's just a little too droopy. All right, launch. Ah, uh, that is a way better result. Way better, actually. Yeah. So now we need to actually physically test the capabilities of this. And I'm going to need a flying target that will just hover there for me to test on. I do have multiple options. One of them being my uh, VTOL gunship. It's a pretty big build, but it has that hovering capability there. So let's just put it a decent height up, I think. That would do pretty well, that distance. So let's see if we can take it down. In theory, take down that uh, hovering VTOL there and cause it to come crashing down. Who knows? We'll see. Okay, three, two, one, launch. Oh. <laughs> it, it hit it just way too hard. This actually might be too deadly of a net. Oh, wow. That is kind of a destructive weapon. Okay, let's try this again. Just got to keep testing if this is actually a viable capturing device. Because it seems it's more like a destructive weapon so far. So here we go. Launch. Oh, we definitely... Wow. Okay. Slight damage. There's de It definitely does a lot of damage. There's practically no damage on the net. But we managed to just take down the VTOL. So I'm thinking... What if I used anchor pins? If I used anchor pins attached to the net, it like will confirm the capture, right? So let's go into our gadgets and grab the anchor pin. And we're just going to attach them to every single one of these pipe pieces. Okay, let's give that a save. We have an anchor pin on the top there. And it actually looks pretty menacing. But let's spawn it in. We still have our VTOL aircraft over there. And the only thing I'm worried about is the anchor pins attaching whilst the droopiness is here. But it looks fine so far, so let's just give it a shot. Oh, that was a complete miss. Here we go. Oh, what? That was so cool. Wait, let's have a closer look. So the anchor pins attached, and I guess it just... Yeah, it's captured, right? That's captured. Okay, here's another attempt. I think I'm aimed correctly. And let's give it a launch. Oh, no. The magnet collisions made it go off course. I'm going to stick a, uh, a blaster on here. Turn off its controls. And I should have a little aiming reticle. Yeah, there we go. 
Yeah, so sometimes it drifts to the left. That was a little low. That's it, that's it, right? Yeah, there we go. Captured. That's gotta be annoying to have a net. Like, just in your face like that. But look at all these nets I've left on the ground. <laughs> what if I did a smaller creation? I actually have this drone I built. Does it work on a little tiny drone? All right, here we go. Three, two, one, launch. Oh, that's a capture. Not that accurate, but it brung it down. <laughs> it's a very goofy concept, but I'm actually, I'm actually liking it. The bigger the targets, the better, right? And I have my Gundam. It's actually flying past. Catch. No, that's a miss. No. All right. Gundam is in my sight. Attack. Damn. Wow. Okay. That definitely hit it too hard. <laughs> but it did the point, right? It took it down. This is like the most cartoony way of anti-air you could possibly do. And I really like it. But yeah, I think I've made a pretty successful uh, net dispensing system here with the magnets. It can definitely be improved upon. But as far as the concept of actually throwing a net at somebody, I like it. This is awesome. But maybe you guys can build your own and take inspiration from this video and upload it to the workshop so I can check them out and see what improvements you guys have made that I didn't think of in this video. But I hope you enjoyed this little trail makers experiment. If you want to see more content like this, definitely leave a like and why not consider subscribing? It's free. But anyway, that's enough from me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.